So now let's go ahead and add ability to edit a bookmark that we've saved. So we should be able to change the details of the body or the URL itself. So to do that, it's, it's actually going to look a lot like the ad. So we're going to have a handler for that. So on here, we'll have at bookmarks. Then we want to call dot. We use two common HTTP methods. One is the boot, another one is the another one is the patch. So we want to target when a user is going to put on the ID, is making a put on the ID. So we can also handle the same thing for the patch. So we can just have patch on there too. So then we can handle we can handle edits bookmark. So we also need to expect the ID to be sent. We're also gonna need to first check if it exists because we don't wanna try to change something that doesn't exist. Let's make sure that the user is logged in. So we're just gonna put a JWT required decorator. So over here, we can go ahead and verify that the bookmark exists already. So if it exists, then we're gonna go ahead and we change it. So we're gonna we are going to get the new the new body and the new URL that the user is sending to us. So if you go in our post, we are going to need to get these and also we're going to validate the URL. So I'm gonna copy this very thing. So down here, we can now get the body that the user is sending and the URL. And then we'll validate that the URL, the, the new URL is actually still, still valid. Now, once the URL is valid, then we can go ahead and update it in the DB. So since we've already found the bookmark, it's here. To update it, we want to do bookmark.url. We'll set it to the new URL. And then the body is going to be bookmark body it's gonna be the new body okay then after we do this then we want to call db dot session dot commit okay that's gonna make sure that our database syncs the change so this is how we update so to test this I'm gonna go to our postman then I'm gonna get one so when we get one, now remember we need to put to make a put. So I'm gonna make a put, but I'm gonna change. So I'm gonna change the URL from Google. So I'm going to change it from Google to sites.google, something like this. Then let me change the body to my Google site site. So let's change this. So now, so now if we do a put on this. You notice that we get a, we get an error that the function didn't return properly. So that's because when we finished committing the session, we didn't actually return a response. So we're gonna be returning a response. So just the same the same way we returned when we created. So on creation, we returned this, and this is the same thing we want to return, except that we want to return a new, except that now the the status will not be create, but it will be just it will just be okay. So we just return the sonify, then this is gonna be HTTP. Okay, so if we try to change now again, you can see that we get a new one. So you see the ID is kept like it was before, but the URL is changed to a new one. And uh, yeah, so that's how we update. If we made a patch, so patch is usually used when we want to update like bits of these objects, which I think which should even be ideal for this kind of thing. It will still work because our handler handles both of them just like this so yeah that's how we will up, that's how we update so in the next one we're going to be seeing how to track which links we've visited and the links we have not visited so thanks guys for watching if you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe i'll talk to you later